All right, well, I got a little bit of a story for you guys. So I'm holding the key, it's hard to see, to an Audi. Let's go in the garage here. The neon's gone for like a couple more hours. Get into that. It's gonna be hard to see in here. My garage like diffuses, I don't know what blue, so the light works, but none of the outlets work. So it's cold in here now, let's get in there. Like none of these outlets work. I don't know what happened. So maintenance has to come out and, you know, fix it. But, um, oh man, that paint is so bad. So I, here's how I, I woke up this morning to a trade offer for the neon for this. Sorry about the video quality guys, but that's just as bad. We'll go with this. Um, a trade offer, um, just a really quick story time. Trade offer I woke up to on this 2000 and actually I don't even know what year this car is. I think it's like a 2004 or five Audi S4. So it is the S4. It has the 4.2 liter V8. It's in immaculate condition. It has coilovers, has a full AWD, AWE performance exhaust, which is not cheap. It's got like the cool flip up key. Nice chrome mirrors. I was like, yeah, I'm all for it. Because all this needed is a misfiring. And you didn't want to deal with it. Check out when you open the door. I mean, that that's just, it's so cool. Um, I don't know how to turn the interior lights on. But. Yeah, I have, sorry, I have no idea how to turn the interior lights on, but you know, it's full leather. Um, let's get in. Let's get in here. Oh, there we go. Sitting here and talk. So you guys saw the outside. I'll show you under the hood in a little bit. Got all my stuff out of the neon. You know, it's full leather and stuff. So I drove out there to him an hour, you know, hour and 10 minutes away. And, um... I mean, just look at these gauges. They're so cool. I drove out there an hour to him, and when I get there, he takes about an hour to look around the neon. He's the one who contacted me. Um, gets Takes about an hour to look at the neon, gets his girlfriend out here. They're looking over. They drive it like two different times. Um, I go for a ride in this quick. I'm like, yeah, I'm down. Um, everything's good. Um, I would transfer everything you know he's like oh man i can't believe i'm doing this i love that car it's all-wheel drive and stuff and um super nice car sunroof and he's like all right well we shake hands and stuff i got my bill of sale and stuff i got the title um he's got my title for the neon he's got all the paperwork for it that's you know been done to it same with this one there's some paper, a lot of maintenance stuff that's been done to it. Here, I'm not going to show you guys that, but that's title. Um, title, you know, tons of records of paperwork and new fuel pump and all that. It's got so much stuff done to it. You know, all this crap done to it. So, you know, I definitely got... Well, that's one reason. <laughs> that's one dumb thing, but I definitely got the better deal, right? You know, it's got Bose audio, Bose Bose subs in the trunk, heated seats, all the good stuff. You know, it's an automatic. It's got the Tiptronic, super fast shifting transmission for a 2004 or five paddle shifters. It's um, it's a cup holder right here. And then a bunch of change you left in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snake. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's a sweet car. Got more cup holders there. It smells like weed. Another key fob. I wonder if this one works. No. Okay. Well. So yeah, sorry about the video. I just want to make this little story time video, guys, on and say Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. And um, 
I was so happy, you know, it's got the carbon fiber wrapped side pieces here. And, you know, driving it home, like, yeah, it's misfiring for sure. Here, I'll start it up for you guys. The garage is shut, but I'm just having some terrible luck today. My garage, my whole entire garage lost power, so I can't even open my garage door. And uh, so I have to manually open it. And no lights in the garage work except for the one overhead light. But let's fire this thing up for you guys. You can hear the misfire. It's on cylinder one. So... Uh, yeah, let's let's hear. It's got a 4.2 liter V8, full AWE performance exhaust. But yeah, it's a sweet car and I'm, I'm pretty bummed out right now because, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to fix that misfire. I'm going to sell this car for, you know, five grand, whatever. That's what they go for. And um, be on my way. I paid sixteen hundred for the neon. So I thought I was like, oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm literally one, not even a minute into driving home from his house. So not like probably like 35 seconds down the road. And I get a text. Hey, man, I need my car back. I'm like, what? So I don't reply because I'm driving. You know, I don't text and drive. Don't do that. I'm driving. And I get a call from him. Another call. Another call. You know, I just decline him all right away. Um, I pull over. I say really quickly. I'm like, hey, bro, I'll text you when I get home. I'm on the road. He's like, no, I need my car back. I'm like, what? So I stay there on the side of the road. I'm like, why? He's like, I screwed up. I need my car back. Um, I'm like, sorry, man. I, I really like the car. We, we done the deal. I got everything. You got your stuff. I'm on my way home. I drove all the way out here on Christmas Eve. You wanted me to, you know, it's Christmas Eve too. So I left. Girlfriend wasn't happy about it, but I had to do it to get this deal. So I risked all that crap and I'm driving. He's just blowing my phone up. Oh, I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the car and stolen. You need to return it right now. Um, I'm like, dude, I have screenshots of all of our messages of you telling me to trade, saying thanks for trading right when I left and um, all everything. I have the title, bill of sale, everything. And he's just like freaking. He's like, no, I'm calling in stone, which didn't scare me because I have proof of everything. But I'm like, it's Christmas Eve. The dude regrets it. I'm like, you know what, dude? Just I'll text you when I get home. We'll figure it out. He's like, no, I need it now. I want it now. I'm like, no. So I just drive home. He keeps telling me, what's your address? I'll come get it. I get home. We're talking. And he's like, yeah, I called it in stolen because I, I need it back. And then he's like, but I stole the car too. So you probably don't want it. I'm like, you stole the car. And then you reported it stolen. I, I'm calling BS on all that right now. But, I, you know, I'm a nice dude. It's Christmas. Um, I said, whatever, come pick your car, bring my neon. You better have my neon full of gas, full tank of premium. You better have everything in it that was in it. You know, my radio um, under the hood. You better not have taken anything out of it. Better be in the same condition. And uh, otherwise, you're not getting your Audi back. He's like, no, I swear, you know. And then he calls me and he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm so sorry for all this. I really shouldn't have posted the car for trade or sale. Uh, I'm so sorry, you know, I'm so sorry I wasted your Christmas Eve, and I really am a guy of my word, but I've had so many memories in that car, I, I just need it back, like, and then he was like, also on the, when I was on my way home, he was texting me, oh, but it actually has a bad motor, it's not just a misfire, you know, the time, it skipped timing, it needs a new motor, six grand, I'm like, okay, I'll replace the motor, you know, I walked around the car, I liked it, um, he's like, no, I, I, I need my car back, I'm like, oh, well, that's bullshit right there, you know, it doesn't have a bad motor, so, um, yeah, he's just, uh, I don't know what his deal is. I was like, dude, you're bro, you're nuts. Just come get the car and get out of my life. Um, you wasted my time. Bring me money for wasting my time. So he's bringing me like 40 bucks cash for wasting my time, which is fine. It's all I can afford. But um, yeah, just a whole messy situation. So if you're going to trade a vehicle, guys, be careful. Um, he he seems super cool and he still is. He's like so apolog like he keeps apologizing and he's so sorry. He's like, thank you for letting me come get my car back. Um, I'm like, and I kept telling him, like letting him know, like, dude, you know, if I wouldn't have let you have it back and you go to the cops, you're going to go to jail or get in trouble for falsifying all these statements. Cause I have proof of everything. He's like, and I have proof of him saying, yeah, I know I shouldn't have done that. It was a dick move. I just, I need my car back. He's like, I started crying when it left. I'm like, dude. So that's how my Christmas is going. I don't get to keep this cool car, but I'm going to get another one. I really, really like it. And, uh, well, I think my next sights are on one of these, um, as far as, I mean, the thing drives amazing. It handles great. It's on coilovers. It sounds good, even with the misfire, but, um, 
pop the hood for you guys. I'm just, I'm pretty pissed off because of the whole situation, the whole situation, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know, that is just so cool. I don't know why. And it, it just looks so classy too, with the chrome trim, the chrome mirror caps and the black paint. I think with a really good paint correction and some nice black forged wheels, this car looked great, especially with window tint. But, um, see there, S4, pop the hood so you guys can somewhat see. And, um, let me turn my flash on so you guys can actually see into the hood. All right, there you go. Flash is on, 4.2 liter V8. It's got performance coil packs, performance plugs, stock intake. Seems pretty good, you know? Um, and I wouldn't even mind doing when he, if he, how he said, but you can see there's like oil and stuff. I don't know, or not oil. I don't know what that is, if that's cooling or what, but, um, he's like, oh, it needs a timing chain saying that it skipped timing. You know, the timing chain for this car, the whole kit's like 1500 bucks for a good kit. So, I mean, I'm, but like, if you're already into it, I don't mind doing that. You know, I bought the car and if that's actually the case, I would have done it because it drives great, runs great. You can tell it's misfiring, but the engine light flashes when you drive half the time, which is not good, multiple misfires. So maybe it did skip timing, but even so, the car is so clean and so worth it, I would do it. But I'm just going to be nice to let him have his car back. He clearly thinks, um, or he clearly made a mistake. You know, he really regrets it. I'd want someone to do the same if I did that, but I would never do that. Once you shake hands, it's done. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just got done lifting and it's really cold out and my asthma sucks. But I just want to give you guys this little Christmas story time unfortunate because i really like the car i really wanted to uh to get to work modifying it and have some fun and then flip it because this would have made me a killing this would have made me a good profit but it's christmas let him have his car back let him not get in trouble by the police and he's like the weirdest thing was when he called me he's like oh bro i need i know the lemon law let me have my car back he's like i'm like what you're saying my neon's a lemon he's like no 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 your neon's amazing my car's a lemon i'm like that's not how the lemon law works buddy you sold me a lemon and you want it back. That's not how it works. No. Um, so clearly you don't know the law. But yeah, this thing is really cool. And um, sad to see it go, but I'm going to get another one. And I do want the automatic because I like this auto trans, the Tiptronic. It's really fun, really nice. I wouldn't be upset with a six-speed either, but we'll see. So just want to get this little video out there for you guys. Let me know if you've had any weird experiences like this flipping cars or flipping anything. And um, unfortunately, it's the only video I'll make on this car. All right, so I had to get a couple little driving clips of this car. It only flashes the engine light when it's idling and up to about 25 miles an hour. And it stops and just becomes solid. So I don't, it doesn't drive like it's misfiring above like 30. So I wonder if, I don't know if it actually is skipping timing. So I feel like then it would misfire the whole time. But um, you can hear it, it just sounds off. And, uh, but this thing is super fast for what it is. I mean, and it, the steering is so like good. And it's just insane. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a a little launch here. Slight uphill, barely. But um, a little bit of a brake launch. Jeez. It's not the fastest thing, zero to 60. I'll say that. I mean, it's quick, but it's not like crazy fast. This thing, but it pulls like on the highway it's fast like launching is an instant launch that feels it just pulls you back in your seat it's crazy like the zero to 60 times not crazy it's probably like the mid to high fives maybe even low sixes i don't know <sighs> but the car like driving it here in manual like it's got it's got some torque i'll tell you that um drive it here And it will upshift for you. Um, I'm going to kind of give her some beans here in a second for you guys. That's not even full throttle. That's This car is so fun to drive and it's so precise. Um, but yeah, it was filthy. So I realized he's taking it back, but I just gave it a wash. I mean, he is giving me cash anyways for my time. I gave it a good wash. Now I'm just gonna pull it in the garage, kind of clean it up a little bit. I know he was a he was a dick, and then he, but he's he's really sorry. He feels so bad. He already took his sale post down. He's like, I can't sell it. I miss it so much. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Come get it. 
So, and just, I don't know, being nice to him, I guess. I don't know why. That car has no lights on. I hate that. You see that every day here in St. Cloud. But yeah. The thing is just raspy and I love it. If, I, if it didn't have a misfire, I probably wouldn't have said take it back. You can take it back, but. Oh man, dude, this car is nice. And the all wheel drive just launches you. You can get through anything, too. So now, uh, it's got super bright headlights, too. Those aren't even my brights. Those are brights. And I gotta get out and... See, I see it's flashing when you come, like, to a slower speed. But... Gotta open my garage. This is what she sounds like. Does that sound like it skipped timing? I have no idea. That's what he says, but he sent me a receipt of a shop, so I will put everything on the screen too, some, some screenshots of our conversation, so you guys know I'm not bullcrapping you. I don't wanna to swear too much on camera. The only reason you see smoke is obviously I just washed it, so it's like steaming, but yeah, we'll put some screenshots up of some weird things he said, and uh, I will put the screenshot up of the receipt of the shop saying, and the VIN on that receipt does match this car, so it is this car. And uh, it was a diagno diagnostic diagnostics of a uh, skipping timing chain. So that's never no good. Or that's never good. Pull her in and at least she got clean. I got to give a S4 my first ever wash. Oh, uh, this car, and it just smells so good inside of it. I don't know why. So, yeah, you guys can definitely see one of these. Expect to see one of these on the channel as a, as a flip car in the future. And they're hot cars, too. They sell, like, hot cakes around me. So, that's a bonus for me. That's another reason for me to buy one. Oh, man. I love this car. I really do.